calibrate seed flow, you need to run a known way to seed through the seed treater and time it to see how fast it passes through the treater. In our example, we will be using an LP800, two USC series 2000 belt conveyors, and an 80 unit USC surge chopper. During this process, additional assistance may be needed. Begin by placing a known way to seed into your surge chopper. In our case, we will be using 2,000 pounds. Then place an empty container to catch the seed after it passes through the seed treater. Adjust the seed flow gate. When the gate handle is in the down position, the gate will be closed. And when the gate handle is in the up position, the gate will be open. To increase the flow of seed through the seed treater, extend the adjustable arm. And to decrease the flow, retract the adjustable arm. Set the arm to about 80 to 90% open. Place a stepladder next to the treater to view inside the supply hopper. Next, turn your inlet, conveyor, outlet conveyor, and drum motors on. EN feeding seed into the inlet conveyor. This will fill the supply hopper on the treater. Using a stopwatch, begin timing as soon as seed drops into the seed treater. Continue timing your entire known way to seed. Keep the supply hopper full to ensure a consistent flow of seed. After all seed has passed through the treater, stop timing. Wait until all seed has passed through the drum and outlet conveyors, then turn the inlet conveyor, drum, and outlet conveyor motors off. In our example, 2,000 pounds ran through the seed treater in 2 minutes 36 seconds, or 156 seconds. Take 2,000 and divide by 156 to get 12.82 pounds per second. Multiply 12.82 pounds per second by 60 seconds to get 769.2 pounds per minute. 769.2 pounds per minute is our current seed flow rate.